They could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Hmm. Okay, now that we have a moment. Yeah. Um, I didn't mean to just say Nazis are bad and then just leave it at that. I, but we did pick a kind of awkward moment. Oh, because I couldn't remember <laughs> when the pausing was, so I was like, all right, they're not saying anything, Nazis, oh, fuck. Yeah. So, anyway, what happened was, like, upsetting me a lot, so I guess I just need to say something just so I can feel like I said something. But, like, I feel like I'm seeing a lot of discourse where it's saying, where it's comparing, like, Black Lives Matters to the KKK and stuff like that. And I'm just like, it's not, it's not the same. Nazis are not Black Lives Matter. Please don't say that to people. Yeah. And, <clears throat> you know, I have privilege because I'm light-skinned. Stacey and I both have a lot of privileges. And yes. everybody has a privilege. Like, everybody. Like, you know, you should fight for your brothers and sisters and everything. And if one minority is being oppressed, that takes away freedom from the rest of us. And we should stand up for each other using the privileges we do have for the people and who don't have privileges. And, you know, also, in the same way that everybody has privilege, it's also like everybody has their disadvantages, too, you know? Just because somebody looks like they have everything doesn't necessarily mean that they do. So, you know, you have to have empathy and compassion for other people and try to work with what you've got so that you can help everybody. Yeah, and if you're overwhelmed by all this, you can't help anyone unless you help yourself first. But, yeah, like, it's up to, like, let's say you're in the LGBT community and you're a gay white woman. Well, you might want to also use your privilege as a white person to stand up for black people in the LGBT community. Things like that. Mm -hmm. Because, and then... You know, black people in the LGBT community, they might be cis, so they should trans stand up for their trans brothers and sisters and stuff. It's just things yeah. like that. They make a difference, and um, these, I, they're white nationalist Nazi uh, KKK members, and everyone's like, no, um, it's discourse. And I feel like a lot of people who have a lot of big followings either haven't said anything or tried to stay neutral. And I just want people to know that they're Nazis, and it's okay to call them Nazis because that's what they are, and they said it. They're they're Nazis, so <laughs> just they they own that label. Yeah, they own the label. Yeah, and it's being like, oh, well, they just want to have rights like everyone else, and blah blah blah. Like, yeah. I understand that that's maybe how they feel, but it doesn't excuse the actions of bringing weapons to a peaceful protest, bringing shields, batons, and guns, and driving a car into a crowd of people. So yeah. that's not it. And even if they feel that way, maybe from my perspective, it's not true. But that doesn't mean... It's not true that they... Hey, hey. We're <laughs> it's a, okay. Listen. <laughs> I think that... Everybody's poor, and they're trying to find a reason why, so they blame that reason, and because they're frustrated, and KKK members... I don't know that I would... I don't know, just... Nazis I've, are bad. I don't know that I would look for a reasoning in it, because everybody has their own reasons for going to a movement like that. It's not always just, like, one factor, but... There's a million unsimple factors going into this, and I just... I want to say everybody just help each other in the best way you can. Yeah. And when you see somebody else having some sort of bigotry pointed against them, and you feel like you're privileged enough that you're, if you're in a position where you can stand up to it, you should. And if you, well, everybody has their own thing. Well, no, I'm just saying if you're in a position where that's something that you can do, you know. Not everybody is in a position to be able to do that, but if you can, then... Follow past. You know. They didn't adopt the term Nazi. This is the Nazi. Like, there's always been Nazis and KKK members in the, in the United States. They just feel like they can be more vocal about it because they're getting public support from people who are trying to get the racist vote. Along, it's more complicated than that, but yeah, they've always I mean, been Nazis. They didn't adopt the term. They were like... 
okay, it's okay to say we're Nazis now? Like, and they said it, so. Yeah. I don't want to get too much into it because there are obviously, like, a lot of different things that we could talk about, but I guess we just wanted you guys to know that we love and support you, and we hope you're doing okay because I know that, you know, everybody's been kind of stressed out. I've been stressed out, you know, from seeing this all going on my dash, so... You know. Seeing the footage of them marching and screaming the things that they said was disturbing and scary. So I just want everyone to know that they don't they don't control everything. You can fight back. But don't don't no violence. Oh my god. All right. Never mind. No no no. This is why we're just <laughs> Yeah, just never mind. You mean Rachel? <laughs> you mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. So, yeah. I don't want to spend too much time talking about it today because we could obviously go in a million different sad directions, but... You know. And I know that everyone thinks that we're, like, experts on all these, like, different things, but if, honestly... We both feel like we just know the bare minimum, and we just say it, and then... Yeah, I mean, I try not to comment on this stuff, like, too much on social media, only because, like, I don't know what I'm talking about any better than some other people do, so I just try to boost what I think when other Is people a good say... Opinion. Yeah, yeah, like, when other people say things that I'm like, oh, that sounds right to me, then, you know... But Which I'm is not great, because sometimes the best thing to do is just to listen. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, like, people are going to say things like, oh, this racist thing happened to me, and the best thing you can do is go, that's fucked up, and I will do what I can to not emulate that behavior. Yeah. You know? You don't have to have, like, your own take on it, you know? You can just listen to somebody's experience. And believe them and be like, I will apply this to my own behavior so that I can avoid causing that. Yeah. So that's a huge difference you can make without having to go out. Yeah. And protest. Not saying that protesting is bad, but... So, well, we're gonna try to have a good time for the rest of the evening, and that way... Well, we I mean, it's episode four, but we're gonna try... Well, but I'm saying, like, we're gonna try to, like, just relax and play a video game, you know? Yeah, um, by the way, this entire...